to another episode of the Mazda Speed 3 giveaway build series. Today we have an unexpected mod. I didn't think this would happen and I'm super thankful for the team over at Corbo. I've always wanted to work with a seat company and we have our brackets for this car, the Mazda 3, Mazda Speed 3, and two of our Corbo seats. Fortunately, they didn't have the exact ones I wanted in stock. As you know, things are getting are really hard to get right now, but I'm super thankful they had these ones that are pretty sporty, although I think they're still gonna be daily drivable. I'm excited to check them out. We're gonna unbox each one. Sure. Look at that, Anna. Look at this. He's stoked. Let's check this out. Seats for Corbo, street race, and off road. Heck yeah. Nice. They got these things fit in here tight. They got this figured out. I'm going to have to destroy the box. Oh, these things are sick. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're light, dude. I picked that up easy. Yeah. Pull that out of here. Nothing. Yeah, they are like. Alright, you gotta be careful with a knife around these units. Yes, they are reclinable. They are not fixed that I'm really anxious. <laughs> <laughs> oh dude, this is exciting. Oh dude, you're gonna feel like a race car. You feel like the RS3 a little bit, but like the shoulder support's higher. Woo! <laughs> Pretty solid? You fit in this thing? Barely. <laughs> Look at your lean back. How far can I go? <laughs> oh, dang. Oh. <laughs> oh, dude, you can just take a nap. Let's go. This might be the best mod. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> wow, I'm excited. We need to put these on the bench, get them under the lights, it's gonna look sweet for the shots. Show you guys what the back looks like. Really smooth. No pocket for your passenger to put a water bottle and stretch this out. I like that. Don't want that to happen. All right, let's open this box really quick with the brackets. It is extremely convenient that Corbo makes the brackets. Like, don't take that for granted. There's other seats out there. You gotta go to other companies like Planted and get the brackets and XYZ and it doesn't suck. It's just so much nicer to just be able to get this piece right here bolt the seats to it, bolt the bracket to the car, and call it a day. That's one way to ship two boxes for less money. <laughs> okay. So the ones that I wanted, so these bolster part right here that hugs your hips really good. This is like the middle of the road option. So you can see how like this angle, the ones that I wanted were almost completely flat so that when you slide your butt in and out of the car, it's easier. Randall would probably fit a little bit more comfortable, but they only had them in colors that wouldn't look good with this car. So I'm thankful that they had this model. If you guys want to order these down in the description, we'll have links for you. Super stoked on this. And um, these are really nice in person. So got the brackets. We'll start taking out the stock seats and uh, see how these things fit. To get these in the car, we're going to attach the brackets to the bottom of the seat first, and then we can throw them in. What's, what size uh, hex head is that? This is freaking number nine. Alan's keys? Alan's keys. That's a dream that that just bolts up that easy. Get all the bolts in and then snug them up. So to pull out the factory seats, you have some plastic covers down here. So to do that, you just get your hand back here, pull those up. This one right here, like so. I believe those are 14 millimeters. Slide the seat forward. 
those to the side and we'll do that move right there. Come to the back. Same thing back here, we have some tabs. here to remove our seat detection clip this is for the airbag system we're on alibaba trying to find custom crocs like karma speed crocs but these ones are a little jank uh -huh. i don't think that's gonna happen might have to do some what are these things called charms <laughs> there we go got it well this just got a lot more intense randall's like mm, wiring yeah so fun yeah i'm like i'm out <laughs> Hold on, we gotta show we're on the Crocs subject because of this guy right here. So now me and Sunny gotta get Crocs. <laughs> oh, they're wearing the black ones. You gotta do this thing on there. I got some clear ones. Ugly clear? things ever, yeah. Clear. Yeah. Clear, so like the top is clear. Uh, after, Please. Uh, after two weeks, uh, those things are like yellow. Please don't wear socks with those. Just show your toes. <laughs> I did. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I sent you a video of them. No, I've never seen clear ones. Uh, I, didn't know those, I didn't know those existed. Oh, they're ugly. They're embarrassing. <laughs> If you guys didn't know, we're giving away this Mazda Speed 3 right here that we're working on. You go over to karmaspeed.com. Ponder is in the package part of your order, possibly. You guys will get your order. That will get you entries to win this Mazda Speed 3. We're putting a lot of sweet things on it right before the end, so you better get in while you can. We're going to call someone the first week of April to let them know that they won the car. Come hang out in Arizona. We'll plan some fun stuff. So karmaspeed.com, links in the description. Go get entered. Check out the car Corbo seats as well. Finish these up. So I'm going to take this off. I'm going to zip tie right here. So this plug right here is for the seat belt detection lights. When you install seats like this, you have wiring you need to add a resistor to, which is a bypass for your seat belt dinger and so it knows you're clipped in and then you also have the airbags this car does have airbags in the seat i guess that will deploy and if it is not if it's showing that one of them's not hooked up none of the airbags in the car work so it's important that we hook up a bypass which is called a 2.4 ohm resistor for the driver's side and a 2.8 ohm resistor for the passenger side randall's going to show us what we're going to do we're going to put a resistor on the seat belt right here he's peeling back the wires and what are you going to do randall how does this work so essentially you have to have communication going back to the car, which that communication is brought by this harness right here. So our seatbelt plug, which is right here, essentially what we're needing to do is back probe the back of the main harness, and then we'll hook it up to this, and that'll just plug right into place underneath of the new seat. We'll figure out a way to get these bolted up or mounted, and then we won't have any, any codes or any lights. Inside of this seat, there's a sensor in here. So to remove that sensor, you'd have to take off the whole entire cushion to get to it. Then you'd have to transfer it to the new seat, which you'd have to peel back the cushion and that's all stitched. We don't want to do that. So to avoid it, all the codes and issues, we're going to be using resistors. So on our new seats, we have the threaded post right here. If that even fits. Might be because of the powder coat or there might be paint in here. Yeah, so it'll fit. Sweet, so they have this little deal here. So it stays in the perfect location. That's awesome. And it still works with factory seats. We are also ready for harnesses. That's why they have these holes right here. And up top up here, that's where if you had a harness bar in this car, which you can, totally can, the harnesses go through right here. So this could be a track and daily ready seat. This thing just gained like 50 horsepower. You're gonna like this seating position a lot more too. Oh, feel how lower, much lower. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. It looks it looks sick too. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh perfect. It just pinches right there. 
I need these in my STI. And these hug you right here, so when you're hitting the corner and you're using all of that meaty tire that I got for this thing, like it's super easy. It's just chilling right there. And you come over here and just, money. Sweet. And this can chill right here even. I'm gonna show you something I learned on TikTok. If you wanna see if it's the same type of bolt, you check the thread, you just line them up. You, you knew that, Randall? That's yeah. science right there. That's knowledge right there. TikTok, they're the same. I think that what's so great about this mod is we didn't expect it to be this good. Literally. And we thought about this very last second. We're like, nah put some seats in it and we're like nah i don't know it seems like a stretch and we're like nah we should try it and then we now we're here <laughs> we gotta break that guy in <laughs> oh. oh yeah look how low we are she's comfy though yeah If you're enjoying the Mazda process right now, check out this video of us installing the downpipe. This is a great time. We had a blast this day and it's a really nice piece. We get some more volume and we can get ready to make some more power.